2016 edition of uh, Fight the Work Day. This is uh, brought to you <coughs> by the NIH Bicycle Commuter Club, by the Division of Amenities and Transportation Services here on campus, and by a lot of our friendly uh, neighborhood bicycle dealers. The uh, over here, uh, Silver Cycles is providing uh, <coughs> help on uh, looking at and fixing your bike. The Bicycle Place has provided some of our raffle items. And uh, the Tacoma Park uh, <coughs> Silver Spring Co-op uh, has provided the food along with uh, the uh, bakery that uh, has a uh, a sale every Thursday on the back side of Building 31. The Washington Area Bicycle Association has organized the Area Bike to Work Day and has a table here as well. All of these uh, various people and volunteers have made this day possible. Uh, the sunshine has been provided uh, free of charge. Uh, and uh, certainly makes it more pleasant than two years ago. So thanks for coming. And we have a presentation uh, for the Carl Hen Award. Carl Hen was a Rockville bicycle activist uh, <coughs> who did a lot to, uh, to promote bicycling in this area. Uh, he passed away, uh, unfortunately, and this uh, award recognizes his contributions. And this year, our presenter is uh, Angela Atwood. So, Angela. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for being here, and thanks to the weather gods for this glorious window, perfectly timed. So I am very pleased to present this year's award, both because I have so much respect for Carl, and I miss him so much still, and because I have so much respect for this year's recipient. And I want to do two things as I present this award. I want to remind everyone here the importance and the definition of bicycle advocacy, and I want to remind this year's recipient of all the things that he does that he doesn't even realize he does that really sum up critical advocacy. So before I drag on too long, let me just say that this year's award goes to Peter Chines. If you don't know Peter, it's only because he serves so quietly <laughs> and just does what needs to get done without fanfare. But you certainly, as an NIH cyclist, have benefited from many things that Peter has done that you probably don't even, might not even realize. Peter's most well known for uh, championing the Bike Bucks program. And when I say championing, I mean, he has kept this program going in so many ways. First of all, he rides. <laughs> he rides his bike, he logs his miles, he's a visible cyclist on the road. Second of all, when I used to be doing Bike Bucks manually, and I was getting frustrated, Peter came to me and said, I have these ideas about how I can make this better and simpler. And he just automated the whole program and took it over. And I don't think very many people realize how much work he put into it, how much work he continues to put into it. But that really has kept it going. He also does a lot for Bike Bucks that many of you probably don't realize. He's always thinking about how to make it better, how to make it more efficient how to get more vendors interested, how to get more riders to participate. And I hope that we all realize that the more cyclists there are on the road, the safer and the better we all are for it. I want to read a couple of the nominations that uh, were submitted for Peter, and there were many. But they really capture uh, a lot of what I mean in terms of the advocacy that's so important. So advocacy doesn't always mean taking a leadership role, going to meetings, firing off letters. Advocacy very often means um, just when you see something that needs to get done, stepping in and doing it. So um, I love this one. Peter Chines runs bike bucks. I've seen him get off his bike, whip out shears, and cut down nuisance branches that I just ducked under. If you ever notice a nuisance branch on your ride and it's there for weeks and you're mentally complaining about it and then all of a sudden it's gone, 
chances are good Peter lopped it. Here's an another thing about Peter. Peter, every year that we've been doing this award, always submits a very thoughtful, well-written uh, nomination for somebody that he respects. We all get those emails from Vernon. We all think I'll get to it later. Many of us, myself included, forget or don't ever get to it. But Peter just steps in and does it. One final example of, of how Peter is a great advocate that, that many of us can simply emulate and that will make a big difference. I ran into Peter this winter and we were talking, we were reminiscing about when we used to do this old polar bear event on one of the coldest days of the year, we'd just kind of get together and bring bags of bagels and celebrate how awesome we were that we would ride in the cold, just quietly celebrate amongst ourselves. And we hadn't done it for a while. And we were just reminiscing about it. Next thing I know, a week later, Peter's sending out an email to the list. It's going to be cold tomorrow. Who wants to ride? He just pulled it together. He just did it. So if you have ideas about how to make bicycling, bicycling at NIH or anywhere better, just act on them. Simply, you can make fanfare if you want. I like the fanfare. But if you do things simply, efficiently, and quietly, you make it better for everybody. So uh, without any more prattling on from me, let me hand this Carl Henn Bicycle Advocacy Award over to this year's winner, Peter. Yay! <laughs> Thank you very much, Angela. And I, I, I need to say that uh, I, I, I am uh, honored and, and uh, very humbled by, by receiving this award um, because I, I consider that what I've done is just to continue the things that folks before me, including you, Angela, and, and others who have won this Carl Henn Award in the past, have done to make uh, bicycling at NIH so much better than it has been before. Um, we, we have a lot of wonderful things uh, that are, are available to us, including um, places to store our bikes and, and uh, shower facilities and really a very supportive administration. And, and we would need to all step in a little bit to make sure that we continue those things. And, and I'm so glad that I was able to continue all of the wonderful things that you started. And uh, I hope that uh, we can, as a community, continue those things in the future. So thank you all very much, and I'll, I'll stop here. Congratulations, Peter. Thank you. Well deserved. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy Bike to Work Day, the food, the uh, coffee. Uh, of course, wear your t-shirts proudly. And over here, uh, take a chance to put your bicycle up on the, uh, uh, on the racks on the bus. Every city bus, every ride-on bus, every Washington Area Transport Association bus has these front bicycle racks. They make it possible to get around on some of the major city streets that you don't want to ride on. It takes no more than 30 seconds to get a bike on and off that if you, uh, once you've figured it out. Uh, so take your opportunity this morning when uh, the bus isn't moving. So have a great day.